the present versus the future. Uh, what, what, with the power, what kind of person is he if the black had never happened? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different. I think that um, the, I mean, the black uh, for him was a complete shape shifting experience. He went into the army, or he went, went into the Marines because of Mott. He's like just best friends. We do this together, we're brothers. He left the Marines with the same attitude. He went into the, all these things with this particular attitude again, like, this is this is my brother. You know, I've and he's the guy that uh, supported Monroe through all this, you know, all the all the heartache and everything. And I think that like the, the blackout weighed heavily on him in terms of what he found himself in the world and what he had to do in order to survive and then how good that tasted or how bad it was or how um, addictive that uh, that aspect was and uh, he got addicted to it. Uh, and I think that there's a like I know I'm probably waffling and I do apologize but um, the difference between that character and this is 15 years of um, very bloody um, sense of survival. He's really good at killing. He's actually really good at scrapping. Like he's a scrapper as a fighter, um, and you kind of see that in everything he does. He's not Mars is like the he's got like like the sword blade. It's he's. I think Monroe kind of uses his teeth and his nails like rips people's eyes out and stuff. Just to, <laughs> but he's not going to be left on the ground. He's always going to be left standing. And um, prior to the blackout, he never knew that was in him. After the blackout, I think once you once you go through that and you kill that many people and you become that person, how do you even reconcile the difference between those two characters? I, I, I don't know.